Well, hi, how's it going today? So I, as you saw from the blog post from Monday, was all prepared to talk about my career by the numbers and the common theme about that being resiliency and being adaptable and transforming it regarding life's disruptions. However, another key component of that resiliency came, came up a couple days ago, and I thought that this might be a little bit more fun to talk about. The part of resiliency as you have your career, as you become more emerged in your career, is the a part of it to actually become and stay relevant. And that is also trying to keep up with the times. Now, we can only do what we can do, right? We can try to stay as up to date as we possibly can in terms of technology and then staying attuned to common trends and things like that specific to our industry. But also it's making sure that we stay relevant to our target audience. The most natural thing to do would just continue to swim in the pond with the people that you know. But I actually encourage you to stretch and press yourself in a different kind of way to go out and look for opportunities to mentor and to network with younger people, with more emerging people within their careers as they start to ascend within their careers. They need you to learn from, but you also need them so then that way you can stay relevant. Here's a story specific to that. So a few years ago, my husband and I, pre-COVID, let's just put it that way, we uh, went to a former colleague of mine's 60th surprise birthday party. And when we were there, I had the opportunity to meet his daughters and they were lovely. I'd heard about when I worked with him, I had heard about them, you know, they were in high school and graduated from high school and going into college during, you know, during the time that I worked with him. Now they were, you know, adults and they were working in and of themselves and, you know, and, and starting their own careers. They were probably in their late twenties, early thirties by that time. So I was enjoying my conversation with them. And one of these young ladies, had her boyfriend with her. And so my husband was talking about, you know, prepping, right? And doomsday prepping. They got on that subject for some reason. And so we were talking and then I said, yeah, meanwhile, back at the ranch. And the young man looked at me and he said, you have a ranch? And I thought, uh, no. And I had to explain to him that that was a saying. And then we got in the car after the event, and my husband and I had a good chuckle about it, but then it really got my curiosity going. And I had to Google, where did that phrase come from? And just for those of you who are like me and need to know, it actually came from the days, <clears throat> excuse me, the days of the silent movies when um, there was only the, you know, the, that they would have a shoot a scene or show a scene and then they would cut over and to segue they actually had words on the um the the screen so they would shoot the you know them you know out in the rain out in the fields and everything else doing what they wanted and then they would cut over meanwhile back at the ranch they would actually cut over to the ranch and then you would find out what they were doing there but that whole, and it's really funny, right? It really went to show, okay, yes, I need to own my age and know that there are phrases that I know that other people don't know that are coming through the ranks and not do it in a way that it is exclusive. Like I know this and you don't because they know a lot of stuff that I don't and I wanna know. So it becomes this opportunity to share in a different kind of way. So then that way you can actually expose them to new information, but then you can learn from them also. So just a little fun story for the day in terms of staying relevant. As we ascend within our careers, specifically, I'm not, I'm not looking for retirement anytime soon. I see myself working well into my 70s, 80s. If I'm having fun, why stop? I just want to make sure that I am staying relevant to my target audience 
to my customers, to my allies, and especially to those people around me as I can actually help and encourage them to grow and mentor them in their own careers. So how do you, are you staying relevant? What are some tips that you have? I'd like to learn from you. Don't hesitate to reach out to me. And uh, <laughs> just a fun story, we collect them all along the way. It's part of our experiences, those mosaics that we have in our lives. You go out and make it a great day. Don't hesitate to reach out if I can help you in any way and I'll see you soon.